Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This video is about how to linearize your motion graphs in Plotly. Previously, we had already spoken about obtaining your motion data from this Flash software. So let's just copy and paste that over into Plotly. Let's open up a new data table. I'll click on the first column, Control V, and all my data is pasted in. Now, I only want to concentrate on the y-axis in this case because it was a falling object, so I'm going to delete my second column. I'll type in my variables up here. This is time, and this is my y-position. And I also want to get rid of any extra rows I don't need, so I click on data, delete rows. I click on the, this row. In that row. Okay. So now if I were to plot this, I would get a nice curve, which looks exponential. So if you want to make sure it's an exponential, first of all, it's easy, of course, enough to go back to viewing your data. And let's draw a quick best fit line. And over here, we see our equation come out. I'm going to name this my best fit line. And let's just do a quick graph. Now we can see a nice smooth curve. But to linearize the graph, uh, whenever it is an exponential line, you want to square the x-axis variable. In this case, the x-axis variable is time. So if I want to square time, I have to manipulate my data. So this next portion is about how to use formulas. We have a wide variety of different um, options we can use, very similar to Excel. So right now we're going to use power, which is the same thing as having an exponent for it. Do not confuse it with EXP that deals with uh, E itself. So power, the power of X, so we're going to square the X variable. The squared, we're going to put comma 2, which means X squared. I run it, and now I can see over here I have time squared. So in fact, I'm going to rename that time squared squared so I don't confuse myself. So if I were to graph this line, I'm now going to graph my x squared versus my best fit y line. If I plot the line now, I linearize the graph, which thus proves that it is a relationship of x versus y squared, or position versus time squared. So let's actually enter that into our graph title y position versus time squared graph. Over here on the bottom, I'll enter in my x-axis, time squared. Notice the units would be second squared. And on my y-axis, the, the variable would be the y position. <clears throat> and of course, don't forget to save your graph afterwards. But now, what if you have a different type of graph from your data? In fact, let's take a look at this data over here. I upload my file. I know it looks a little funny. So we click on View Data. If I want to plot this out, x versus y, you can see this looks like an inverse graph. But how do you linearize an inverse graph? So let's go back to our data over here. The first thing I want to do is just rename my columns so I know what I'm dealing with over here. I'm dealing with frequency versus wavelength. If I want to 
find the inverse of one of those variables, I'll go back to my formula. Now over here, rather than using any of these functions, I'm simply going to type in my own formula, 1 divided by x. In this case, I designate x to be frequency, and I find the inverse. So in this case, I'll rename that to be 1 divided by the frequency. Now, if I want to plot this, I can plot my x versus y as before. Then I get a beautiful linear graph now. Okay. Now, in this case, I'm plotting still wavelength in meters on the y-axis, and it's 1 divided by frequency, so it's going to be, in fact, that's going to be seconds, the units, and I can create my title plot over here of wavelength versus 1 divided by frequency. I will save it, and this shows me, ultimately, how I can use the formula to really make up any formula I want, either with x or the y variable, and thereby graph whichever physics formula I would like.